Woke up at about 5.30 in the morning and drove out here, got here around 6.45 and we were looking for sharp-tailed grouse because there's a known lek out here and we did pick them up. The grass is really tall so I don't have amazing shots but you can see them flying up and flying down in the tall grass. I got a pretty good shot of one flying across the horizon so that was pretty cool. That is a lifer for me, super happy to get that bird on my life list. Um, sorry the shots aren't great but we didn't want to disturb the lek, so we were away, pretty far distance away. Sharp-tailed grouse can be identified through their chicken-like bodies, mottled brown coloration, small head, small bill, and short legs. Sharp-tailed grouse are part of the prairie chicken family in the genus called Timpanucus, which means drum nape. This is because the males will inflate purple air sacs at the side of their neck in a dancing display for the females. If you can find the birds out in the open, their displays are something amazing to behold. Just make sure you stay a safe distance away as to not disrupt them. I'm sure they eat the babies. Also picked out a savanna sparrow out here. That's pretty cool. And got a sandhill crane flying across the horizon as well into the sun. So, seen some pretty cool birds out here today. I'll keep you updated to see what we can find and probably head up to one more spot tomorrow. I'm also here with my friends Logan and Will. They have the scopes, so helping us see that far distance. Stopped at Benson Marina real quick and we picked up red-breasted merganser. So that's really cool to get. We also picked up some osprey and the, you're not gonna believe this, but there's snow geese here that we spotted through our scope, which I needed for the Badgerland Birding Migration Madness Challenge, and obviously I didn't get it. So that's a little bit frustrating, but glad to pick it up for the first of the year as well. So we've done really, really well so far. Sharp-tailed grouse, things like red-breasted merganser, osprey, snow geese, all first of the year species, really happy to pick those up. All right, so I picked up the snow geese on camera. A little late for those but i'm happy that we have them for the year at least we've seen some fantastic birds today so far this adventure is not done though we're going to head to a few more places over the next couple days and pick up some more bird species for you guys today i'm at king nature park and it's just a little park kind of close to my house we're going to try to see if we can pick up some first of the year species canyon wren would be really good juniper titmouse would be a lifer for me so i'd love to get that one i know it's been reported here in the past but it hasn't been seen in the last couple weeks so probably not going to get that one today but it would be amazing. So let's see what birds we can find. I right, picked up a few birds, picked up a black-billed magpie, posted up on a post. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I'm hearing spotted towie right now. Pretty loud, actually. Spotted towie. Got some American robin on camera. Obviously, none of these are first of the year birds. These are really common birds. And then also got shots of the most common duck in America, the mallard swimming around. Mallards are absolutely beautiful. The only reason that I feel like people don't really appreciate them is because they're everywhere. That's just how it goes sometimes. We're gonna continue walking, see if we can pick up a first of the year species. If not, well, we'll move on to our next location. To me, this looks like perfect juniper titmouse habitat. But look how steep that is. Whew. That's where I came from, all the way down there in the parking lot. I'm heading up this ridge, my goodness. I know it's a steep climb, but just look at the view absolutely amazing if you can't tell i'm dying right now this is so steep i don't know if i'm gonna keep going to the top i haven't seen hardly any birds i don't know if you have a hot spot that comes to your head when you think about a place that should be super birdy and every time you go it's not let me know in the comments below king's nature park is like that for me i come here pick up like seven species every time and there's just so many trees and stuff you'd think there'd be more birds there's just not so just a weird place. All right, so I'm in my way back down the mountain and I don't know about you, but do you ever convince yourself that if you just get over one more ridge, that's where your life will be? And then sometimes that works like one out of 10, but nine out of 10 times, that's not the case. Did not find anything new. In fact, as I went up higher, the birds became less and less and less. So we're gonna head back down, drop back down into the valley, do a quick sweep, see if we can find anything else if not we'll move on to our next location tomorrow finishing it up here at king's nature park and we finished on in my opinion a good bird we got a cassin's finch on camera i don't see those too often 
I know they're fairly common in the area, but compared to house finches, Cassin's finches are much more rare. I've only filmed them like once or twice, so super happy to get it on camera. We're going to head over to First Dam real quick, see if there's anything special there. If not, we'll head back home and then head back out tomorrow. Bird I wasn't expecting to be here, red-breasted merganser. I've never seen one at this First Dam, and this is one of the spots that I frequent the most, so pretty cool to see that here, right behind me in the water, just up right there. Awesome bird to get, got good shots of it, super happy about that. Back home now, and I forgot to mention that I just got my best shots of a ruby crown kinglet that I've ever gotten before in my life, so super happy about that. We also got great shots of a song sparrow up singing, so absolutely amazing. Tomorrow we're heading out, we're going snowshoeing with my friend Logan to see if we can find any cool birds up in the mountains. We're looking for grouse, of course, see if we can get those. And yeah, it should be a great time. See you tomorrow. All right, so I'm up here in the in the like the mountains on snowshoes right now, um, as you can see, with my friend Logan. I'm helping him do some just some grouse survey type stuff for his project, setting up mics around. But you'll see that in a future video. But I finally got an unexpected life, or I finally got my a northern shrike, not a loggerhead shrike, a northern shrike, which is arguably harder to find, perched up on top of a tree. It was the first bird that we saw when we came in. Absolutely amazing. Northern shrike can be identified through. Their hooked bill, thick neck, large head, and faint barring on the chest. Northern shrikes are a predatory songbird species, meaning that they are a songbird, but they also hunt other small birds, mammals, and bugs. They are known as the butcher bird because they impale their prey on thorns or barbed wire to save it for later. And then as we were hiking through these mountains, I've gotten some footage of some roughed grouse as well, which I've only filmed one time. So absolutely amazing time so far. We have quite a bit longer to go. Hoping for an American goshawk up here, that would be amazing. Maybe some dusky grouse, probably hear those and not see those, but hopefully we can get something else on camera and I'll keep you all updated. After coming across this rough grouse, we found a beautiful imprint of a grouse in the snow. In this shot, you can see its wing print as it took off into flight. On the cold mountain, we ran into this black-capped chickadee bouncing about. And shortly after, we found this beautiful mountain chickadee prancing around in the branches. Back home from snowshoeing on the mountains. I can't believe we got that northern shrike. That's absolutely amazing. What an amazing bird. I've been waiting a long time for that. Now we need to get that loggerhead shrike. That'll come down the line in the future. Still can't believe we got that northern shrike. That's absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite bird from this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope to see you all next time on Brad-Eyed Birding.